Hey, what's happening guys? Today I got another classic circuits you should know for you. This is the Cockroft Walton generator and it is a type of a charge pump or voltage multiplier. It takes a lower voltage AC and converts it into a very high voltage DC. And remember, high voltage is dangerous. And could kill you. So if you attempt to do this circuit, you do so at your own risk. Okay? All right. Let's get into it. So the Cockroft Walton generator is made up in stages. And each stage consists of two diodes and two capacitors. And the reason this thing works is because the capacitors are charged in parallel, but they are connected to the load in series. So let me draw this thing out for you real simple. We're gonna start with our diodes. First one pointing up. Second one pointing down. And then we have our first capacitor and our second capacitor. So this is one stage of the generator. And we will call this C1. This is C2. This is D1. And this is D2. Now, we simply do this again for our next stage. And in fact, you will do this as many times as you want for as many stages as you have. And then this connects here. This connects here, like such. And over here, we'll have our output. So that's one stage. That's two stages. So this is a two-stage generator. We need to put in our AC. Goes here, like so. And this goes to ground. So we have our output here, V out, and ground, which is our common. Now, let's go back to our labels. This is C3, C4, D3, and D4. So I'm going to try and explain this to you, the uh, workings of it, as best as I can. So we will assume that the circuit is powered by our AC source, VI, and it has a voltage of VP. And we will assume the capacitors are uncharged as we begin. So when the input voltage of VI reaches its negative peak of minus VP, current flows through D1 because we're coming from the negative through D1, and it charges capacitor C1 to a voltage of VP. Remember, we went negative VP through the diode. Now we're at VP. Now, when VI reverses polarity and reaches this positive peak, it adds to the capacitor's voltage, which now becomes 2VP on the right plate. And since D1 is now reverse bias, current flows from C1 through D2, charging capacitor C2 to a voltage of 2VP. And then that happens again here and here. And when we take this, we simply end up adding up all of our 2VPs. And we can figure this out with the formula of V out equals 2 
n, which is the number of stages, in this case we have two stages, 2n vp, which is also equal to n vpp. So if we say that we're going to start out here with 9 volts AC, then our V out is equal to 2 times 2 times 9, or 4 times 9, or about 36 volts. Now you can see where if you add that up and start out with 110 volts, or if you're in Europe, 220 volts, you can get up to some real high voltages very fast. And when you change this value of N to something like 6, or 10, or 20, hot dog man, she gets up there right quick. Now, this was invented by these two guys. I think they were Swiss, Cockcroft and Walton. I don't really remember. No, they were British and Irish, but this came from something called the Greniker Multiplier. I think Greniker was the Swiss guy. Anyway, Cockcroft and Walton used this to power their first particle accelerator in the 1930s, and they won a Nobel Prize for it in the 1950s. So this is definitely a circuit you should know. Let's go simulate it. All right. I'm using Multisim here from National Instruments. It is a free simulator. You can see we have our AC source right here, 9 volts, 50 hertz. Then we have our capacitors, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and our diodes, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we'll fire it up. And there you can see our voltage climbing to 34.3 volts. Let's change some things. What if we uh, take this circuit we have now and run it up to 100 volts? Well, look at that. Now we're getting 400 volts out of it. And what if you're in the UK? So we'll go to 250. You're getting over a kilovolt out. Let's go back, take this back down to uh, our 9 volts if we can. Mm, come on, doesn't want to play nice, does it? 5, 10, all right, we'll leave it at 10 volts. And we'll restart it. There you go, you can see we're at 38 volts. So, let's stop this. Get rid of our little voltmeter here, and what we'll do is we'll add another stage. So there's another capacitor, another diode, another capacitor, and another diode. So that is a single stage. Then we just need to connect the dots. So now we have a three-stage multiplier. Let's put our uh, voltage here. This is our output. And we'll give her a run. So we've gone from 38 volts to 57 volts. You can see how easily this can add up. Just amazing how this little circuit works. Remember, we're charging these in parallel, but we are discharging them in series. So every one of these has um, twice the input voltage on, and they just keep adding up. It's a beautiful circuit. Definitely one that you should know. So, like I said, this is a great, wonderful circuit. It does have its drawbacks, as all circuits do. In this particular circuit, as you increase stages, the higher stages are going to have a little bit of a voltage sag due from the uh, impedance of the capacitors. And also, you're going to get the more stages you get, the more ripple you're going to get on the output. Of course, you can filter that out as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.